Well, and Shannon Smith is joining us once again to help us with that. Shannon, I'm here to be a mad scientist for you, Beth Todd. I'm here with Linnell Wright, who's an AMZ educator, and we're here to play with some liquid nitrogen. So tell me why we're doing this today. We are doing this to relaunch an old program that we used to have at AMZ many years ago about liquid nitrogen and its properties and its uses in industry and technology and agriculture. So we're going to do a few experiments here that we would do in that program normally. And you know, nitrogen is all around us, but it has to be super cooled to a negative 320 degrees below zero to become a liquid. Yeah. And that's why we have this protective equipment on. And so we're gonna let Shannon put a little bit of our liquid nitrogen in this container. Right, you take the mic, I'm not supposed to put a lot. Just a little. And we're gonna find out what happens if we just put nitrogen in, liquid nitrogen in an average container. Oh, ah! <laughs> As you can see, it does not like a lid. That's why these type of lids are used for doers. They're a floating lid to allow that pressure to escape. Now, Shannon, if you'll take that doer and take the lid off, and we're going to pour a little bit of the liquid nitrogen on that water, and watch how quickly that it becomes a gas. It has an expansion rate from anywhere from one to 700 ratio as far as gas expansion goes. Wow. That's why it's very difficult to keep it in any type of container. Also, please look at the bottom of the Pringle can. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to look at how it affects gases and think about some of our gas laws like okay. the Gay-Lussac's gas law. All right, and this and for anybody who wants to see this, by the way, this will be going on November through January at AMSI. Yes, so I want you to hold on to this. Okay and pour a little bit of the liquid nitrogen. Oh, I lost it. It's okay, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> pour a little bit of that liquid nitrogen on top. Let's you got see. it. Let's see what happens. It's shriveling. It's shrinking, it's shriveling. And so the pressure is actually changing, it's reducing, and the temperature's reducing. Now as it heats back up, it still maintains its physical structure and integrity, but not all materials are made equally. So uh -huh. now let's look at a material like a living material. Okay. Do you have any things you would like to suggest? How about a flower? How about a flower? We <laughs> could do that. We got some colors here too. Okay, let's try our flower. We're gonna take the flower and put it down in our let's oh. put it down in our flask there. And you're gonna hear some sizzling and some popping because that's freezing the water that's in those flower cells, the plant cells. Oh, you hear it? And it definitely changes, changes the structure or the integrity of the material. <laughs> <laughs> Got a little bit on you there. Oh, okay, so. Well, that's all we have time for a little, unfortunately, because okay. I was really looking forward to eating a liquid nitrogen marshmallow, but yeah. We have it. Do we'll we have? It we'll take a little bit of time. Yeah, well, we'll, yeah. Okay. So just, just so you can see. see. And again, all of this is going to be an interactive exhibit you can see at AMSI. There's flower petals on my microphone now, <laughs> um, and that runs through November through January. November through it is included in your normal admission. And so what's going to happen here is these marshmallows are solidifying in liquid nitrogen. And Linnell said if I eat one, I can blow smoke as out my nose. As long as the liquid nitrogen boils off, it's safe to eat. So you just take a few, go for it, pop it in your mouth, and blow out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Here, here's a little more. Here, real quickly. Ah, oh, there <laughs> we go. Wonderful. So yeah, crunchy. We hope visitors will come see our new program, Liquid Nitrogen, November through January. I'm eating my hair, I'm eating my marshmallows. I'll send it back to you guys. Thanks for joining me hey, today. That was Thank worth you. the wait. We that appreciate Amzi coming on and offering up these exhibits.